If there's one thing that's the most powerful thing in anime, it's the title of this episode, Friends. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 16. Last episode, we had Luck versus What's-His-Name from the Lotus of the Abyss, and then we have Mimosa, Klaus, and Yuno from, I'm assuming, another guy of the Lotus of the Abyss, and it's just it's going down shit's hitting the fan we're seeing some dope magic left right and center i'm excited i'm just gonna get right into this remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show all the other shows i'm watching consider checking out that patreon down below if you guys want to support patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below it really helps push me out there into the youtube algorithm gets me recommended into other people's boxes and their subscription fees and all sorts of that kind of stuff don't forget follow me on twitch and on twitter for the live streams and the updates i appreciate you guys oh so 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 oh so so much let's hop into this black clover episode 16 friends yeah he doesn't cry or get so he clearly i don't want i don't want to say he had an abusive mom clearly she's abusive but also he seemed to be different growing up see i've never had a child so i don't know what what i could say i would do if my child was like this magic exchange yeah they sent him to an exchange school wow okay i didn't think we'd get luck backstory so early That's where he got that mentality stuck in his mind from. The win, win, keep winning. But I want to... Did his mom not like him? or? I might have to end up rewatching that part. I won't lie to you. Not the fact that I just didn't understand it, but I just want to be able to process that even deeper because that was clearly very deep. See, he still doesn't even seem phased by it, though. Like, this old man is fucking dope. I like how he actually has diamonds built into his fucking gear. Blinding cross, binding cross prison. A smoke binding magic prison. How do you stop that? How do you stop smoke? Solid smoke. Again, it's like Hunter Hunter. Fucking Morel. I love Morel. Uchichi. He's definitely a lot younger. See, they have diamonds built all in. I think that's cool. But also, plant recovery magic. Dream healing flower crate. That is so cool. It literally cradles you. Good steel creation magic, I like that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Klaus. Oh my god, look at Luck's fucking face. Oh, I'll be honest, I didn't even realize he didn't have his grimoire out. Got him with the foot, you can't move. Or Asta will. Yeah, 
everyone's saying fuck the mission we're gonna protect our family i definitely am down with that i definitely feel that hell yeah definitely down to protect our boys klaus and fucking luck that's our that's our guys I like that. I like that. That's some confidence. I like that. Now we get to see a fucking. Oh, this is gonna be. This is gonna be good. Wow, that's horrible. But literally, all he knows. I don't like. I want to. Yeah, I feel so. Cause she was a lot. I don't know if it's a last thing she said to him but just keep winning win all that only using your powers that is horrible wow like i was saying i was not expecting to get any luck backstory this early that fucking face Hey, it works out that way. I mean, he's always relied on himself, you know? Damn, you really do have a whole squad of fucking dope friends when you look at it, you know? No, I was just there the whole time. All right. <laughs> See, I swear, I felt I felt like this guy hasn't gotten serious this whole time. But smoke magic is so unique. It's so interesting. Prison of the Fallen King. See, you say that, but you haven't gone against an Asta. You haven't seen an anti-magic sword. Swift White Hawk and Wind Blade Shower. The combo magics. The Swift White Hawk looks fucking sick. Simultaneous. Yeah, Klaus, you didn't know. You didn't realize this boy had it in him, huh? I'm not surprised, though. This man, you know, Net doesn't also doesn't seem like he's ever really tried his hardest, you know? Dang. That really is like an impenetrable prison. You're literally in a smoky jail. Which is weird, because that's one of the terms of Morel's powers. Smoky jail. <laughs> Look at Luck thinking so strategically right now. This is what I like to see. I love the strategies. Asta, I won't lie, generally the opposite of what I do. He's just swinging left, right, and center. Oh, but then he didn't. Oh, but then he didn't notice the sword right on the other side. That makes a whole lot of sense. He was using that to draw him a certain way, and then boom, coming from the other side. You know? Yep. Yeah, I literally was exactly what I was thinking. You know? Did you know defeat him by himself? Oh. This is the sword I saw in the opening? Oh, it's gonna end the episode right here. You son of a beach. What time is it? No, we still got time. Do we? No, it's gonna... Ah! So I cannot believe that diamond guy, one, was not using his grimoire pretty much that whole fight, then you know get serious, and then I don't know if he whipped out his grimoire at the end there, but that fucking sword looks so cool. It's the one I've seen all over the opening. Like, fucking, that's so cool. The way they got rid of Smoky Jail Man was fucking cool as well. That, that plan, you know, it's pretty quick thinking. Drive him into a corner, then use the thing you can't sense to, you know. Like, that's fucking, it's just smart. I, I love these tough opponents we're going against so early. I love the luck backstory. I definitely said I'm going to rewatch it, and I am to see if I can fully process that. But if I had to guess based off what I've seen, 
I don't think they're necessarily they're not definitely not nobility. So I'm, I'm I don't want to call them peasants either. But just for the sake that everyone calls non nobles peasants, I'm going to call them that. So let's say they're peasants. They're peasants, and he's already had a disturbed childhood where he is very different. His mom is very stressed and putting up with that. There are a lot of parents who deal with very energetic kids who are not hand well handled to, suited to be a, a parent and, and lash out and are, are abusive. And so in order to combat his weirdness, we should say, she sent him to a magic exchange school where he went to kind of like a, a, an exchange school, you know, and there he was able to beat a noble, which is super shocking because he's a peasant. So his magic must be because very, very magic is very blood tied to your bloodline so the fact that a peasant could beat a noble says something very big but because he's a peasant and he beat a noble his mom was very proud of that even though she was very stressed by how his behavior was as a child so she's like wow you beat a noble that's, that's awesome i'm so proud of you keep doing this keep like well, i want to know where the whole you're like keep winning on your powers alone like is is it the fact that he's a peasant and he's weird is the fact that she's just like hey you're gonna be alone your whole life like and then she died that's so horrific if you guys um can clarify in the comments for me non-spoiler of course like if there's some more that we get later down the line that would give some more context to this don't tell me obviously but if you guys could i would appreciate that i really like luck i really like the fighting this this i'm excited for this next episode i won't lie i appreciate you dapper squad check out the patreon if you guys want early access full length all that jazz i'll see you guys later peace out Thank <laughs> you.